And today with a mini docking station or to be more precise, a USB type C hub from Wavelink, which is a brand that we know and it has a lot of docking stations and USB type C hubs. So if this is not the solution, then I will try to leave a link down below so that you can check out other solutions that they have. Now this one right over here is targeted at someone that needs high speeds for data transfer and also high speed on the ethernet connection and that wants to connect a mobile phone, a Mac OS computer or even a Windows computer and have an extra display. That being said, let's go and take a closer look at it. And if you are watching this video on your Windows 10 or 11 computer and you still haven't activated and can't even edit your desktop icons, don't forget to check out cdksales.com where we can find budget official OM keys at an affordable price. And with the coupon code that you can see on screen and down below on the video description, it will get even cheaper. And besides Windows 11 Pro, if you are looking for Windows 10 or even an office suit that we can aggregate directly to our Microsoft account, you can use the same coupon code which will give you the best price possible at this moment so just in case the link will be down below it comes on this simple package right over here only with documentation and the usb type c hub i'm not really sure if i removed the documentation from the package so if you don't see any on the unboxing images that's just because i usually don't care about paperwork but that are of the way in terms of build quality it has a really strong cable so in terms of this cable is not going to be damaged anytime soon in terms of the build quality it's plastic here on the black part of the hub and then at the top it has this brushed aluminium in i would say between silver and golden which looks really really nice in terms of connectivity which is in my opinion the most important part what we have right over here is an hdmi that will go up to 4k at 60 hertz two usb type a and one usb type c ports all of them with 10 gigabit speed so if, so if we want to transfer files fast this is it but we will test it in just a few moments it also has a ethernet port with 2.5 gigs which we will also test it out and a power delivery 100 watts usb type c port so for those that are not familiar with a usb type c hub this means that i can connect my mobile phone for example and have it on a big screen and I will be charging it at the same time. As we know, my mobile phone and most of the mobile phones only have until today one USB type C. And either we are using an accessory or we are charging. Right over here, we can connect everything and still have it charged up to 100 watts. Now, I did test out, as I said, with my MacBook Pro, also with a Windows computer and a Samsung S20 Fan Edition with a Samsung DeX. We can use with any other device as long as it has a USB Type-C port and it has video output. That's the only limitation that we will find. So not all phones will be compatible. Just check out if yours is compatible. Now, in terms of my experience on all three operating systems, it was just spectacular. We can go up to 4K at 60 hertz which is also the maximum of the display that i'm using on these tests and whether on a mac or a windows laptop i can take advantage of a larger and higher resolution display actually i, I don't know how to work only with the laptop display only in some scenarios where i'm sitting down relaxed and replying to emails or something like that but even at this moment i've got one 27 inch display right over here i've got a 14 inch right over here to record the screen through obs and so on and so forth and organize my files and the laptop is closed so this is the way that i work and on a daily basis i don't see myself working only with the laptop display also with a external display so that I can have two displays to work. And personally, of these three setups, my favorite is the Samsung DeX on the Samsung Galaxy S20 Fan Edition, where we can turn our phone into a computer and take it anywhere. And if we use the Wavelink USB Type-C hub, for example, if I have at my work one display and at home another display what i can do is just grab my phone and grab the wave link put it on a, a pack and then take it to work when i arrive i just connect the wave link to my phone i have the accessories and 
bam. And then when I get back home, I do exactly the same and I will have just to carry my phone. Actually, to be more efficient, I would need two of these, one at my workplace with all the peripherals connected, one at home with all the peripherals connected. And then I just take my phone, connect it right over here and work and then unplug it take it to work, connect it right over there and work as well. So this would be the best scenario possible. Now, in terms of the data transfer, it has two USB type A and one USB type C. And in terms of speeds, I did test that out. As you know, I do test everything and we can achieve up to 10 gigabit. And as you can see, 1000 megabytes per second. Now, this will always depend on the SSD and on the enclosure that we are using. But as you can see on the test that I did, we managed to exceed the 1000 megabytes per second mark on the writings and the reading was a slightly below due to the limitations of the ssd in terms of the power delivery it will deliver up to 100 watts but my macbook pro for example only accepts up to 60 watts or so so it's more than enough and my samsung only accepts up to 18 watts if i'm not mistaken but don't take my word for that at this moment so it will charge any device that we have and on the Ethernet port while testing out with open speed test, we could reach 2500 megabits per second both on downloads and upload so 2.5 gig right over here certified and tested no worries whatsoever now in my opinion and in conclusion who is this usb type c hub or mini docking station for and in my opinion it's simple for someone that only needs one display output because we have seen some solutions that have more than one display output and right over here we only have one which i believe that will suit most case scenarios but on the other hand someone that it's demanding in terms of speed transfers on data if we want to transfer from our ssd to our laptop and vice versa and at the same time wants fast speeds over ethernet and i believe that someone with these needs will be really happy to have the wavelink hub that we just test it out now that being said hope that you enjoyed the video and if you did so don't forget that usual thumbs up right over there which is really appreciated on this side of the screen if you have any questions feel free to drop them down below my name is roberto george and as always i'll see you on the next one